Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today you have got one of my day off vlogs. So I don't think I've updated you, um, but I've got a new job. So when I probably spoke to you last, I was working at a homeless shelter down in Barry. Um, I've now changed and I am now, I've now gone back to my roots and I have gone back to real estate. So I'm still doing my college course, which is full time. And then I'm able to, on my visa, I'm able to work 20 hours a week. So at the moment I'm just working part time for a realtor in Barry, and I love it because it's something that I enjoy doing. So I'm enjoying myself now. I work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday mornings only for a few hours and then Wednesday, as it's Wednesday today, I get the day off. So we've just been thinking about different things to do. So today I think I'm going to take Taylor down to, there is a place called Cedar Links Mini Golf Club. It's like um, crazy golf basically and it's apparently got goats and everything that run around so I'm hoping that that would be a good day out. Um, I'm Normally I say to you I'm going to go and put my face on, I'm not putting my face on today, I'm keeping no makeup on because I'm feeling a little bit um, sunburnt, well not sunburnt but yeah I am like my, you can see that I've got visible lines so I've completely sprayed myself and I'm just going to go all natural today other than sun creamed up to the max. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to take Taylor and a couple of his friends. Hopefully it'll be a fun day. Okay, so we're here at Cedar Links Golf Club and we are about to do some mini putting with the boys. We have paid our $1 to get some goat food. So hopefully it'll be nice just to do something different. Go on then, Taylor. I don't think it's going in, Taylor. Oh, it's getting close. Okay. I think we need to hit it more lightly. Too, oh, too hard. Go on then, Logan. Oh, better. No! No! You're always gonna hole in one. Okay, so this is the benefits of our one dollar lamb and goat food. Oh, they love it. Make sure they both get some. Don't be scared, they won't hurt you. They'll lick you to death. Okay, so the next part of our golf enclosure is in the goat pen. So we get to play and hopefully we can feed the goats at the same time and they can walk around with us. I just want a clear pot. I have a clear pot. And there's the little goat's house. No, oh, look at them. Well, they like you, Taylor. Don't let them have the whole bag. There's no more to feed. It's yours! We got distracted, Declan, by the goats. Buddy, you can't have any of it. No! <laughs> oh no, we're having a meltdown. No, oh, look. Declan's raising. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. <laughs> yeah. This is trying to play golf with the distraction of the goats on the golf course. Go on, yeah. then, Taylor. Feed them all. 
So I find this the literally the only issue with my day off is it always goes too fast. So today I woke up, I had a college course this morning, which was from half past nine until half past 11. I sat outside um, on a deck chair because Scott is on nights at the moment. So with his job, he does two weeks of nights and then two weeks of days. And he's on his two weeks of nights, which means that every time like he's sleeping during the day and I don't wanna wake him up by just being sat outside the bedroom door. So I sat outside and it was lovely and I sunburnt my foot. Now I can't really show you because the lighting is not really showing, but I didn't think to put suntan lotion on my foot and I've burnt it. So, and then I took the boys to Cedar Lynx and you um, then saw the video of the golf and the goats and it was lovely. And it's really, really like, cheaply priced as well. I don't know if that's the word, cheaply priced, but it's cheap. So we took the myself and the three boys and I think the total was $30 for the four of us. So it wasn't very expensive to do that. And then the little bags of goat food or duck and fish food was only a dollar. And it's just like an honesty jar that you just put the money in. But obviously we're honest people, so we put the money in. And we then come back and I have literally, I mean, I don't know if you can see, hopefully I don't look too dirty, um, but I've been mowing the lawn. So I've just been like, that's the nice thing about out here with the weather. It encourages, encourages you, I haven't even sipped this wine yet, so it's not the wine talking. Um, it encourages you to get outside and I have mowed the front lawn, mowed the back lawn, used a strip around the edges and I come in and it looked like I'd been in like a rolling around in the mud because I was covered. I had to just go <laughs> straight into the bathroom and stand in the bath and like shower my legs and my feet down and there was just black everywhere in the bath. So that was fun. And now, then I've just been doing college work again. And now in a minute, I will have a sip of my glass of red wine. Um, but this is all that was left from the bottle. I mean, I have had it here for about two weeks, two and a half weeks. So it's not done too bad that it's still here, but I'm pretty sure that Scott has been putting it into the food and that's why it's been going down quicker. Cause I'm sure I've only had two glasses out of it. But oh well, that's fine, I enjoy the food. So Scott is actually starting up his own vlog at the moment because he is obsessed with food. So he wants to, like his dream would be to have a food truck um, out here and sell like Mexican food. But he is starting a food blogging channel because out of us two, he is the one that cooks and I am the one that just enjoys the cooking. Oh, and I'll tell you something to definitely, this is a thing to note when thinking about coming to Canada. Um, well, I don't know about Canada, but Ontario and this area specifically, um, we have had an infestation of gypsy moth caterpillars. Now they are horrible, like caterpillars with like fur on them, like, hairy caterpillars and then if they fall on you like when I was doing the garden the other day one fell on my back and then it left like I mean it looked like I don't know what it looked like on my back but it made all of these raised bumps and like a rash because at first I thought it was like mozzie bites because I was covered and it wasn't it was the caterpillar that had crawled around my back and it's like I think they say that the caterpillar is covered in histamine um, I don't think it's antihistamine, histamine, I think, and it can irritate your skin and they are disgusting and they swarm over the trees out here. They particularly like oak trees and there's like certain trees that they like, um, cause I've been Googling it and they cover them and they, they damage the trees because they take all of the nutrients, uh, um, off of the trees, get like into the layers, get, and obviously weaken the tree. So they're in a stage where they're caterpillars and then they, like, I think from now, they're supposed to be forming catalysts 
I don't know if it's catalysts <laughs> or cocoon and then they will turn into moths and then fly away but obviously the moths will then lay the eggs ready for the caterpillars to come again and they are disgusting so um i know it sounds disgusting as well but i paid taylor ten dollars the other day to try and get rid of them so i gave him a tub of hot soapy water because apparently that kills them and a pair of tweezers they were scott's tweezers i need to buy him some more i haven't let him use them again so don't worry but um i gave taylor the set of tweezers and he was going out to the tree and plucking them off of the tree and putting them in the hot soapy water now i will just add a clip of this pot that he got now there's not just a few there's not 10 20 30 40 50 there is lots like they are like and we haven't even got all of them that's the crazy thing because in the garden that you saw in my last video you see that we've got the trees and we've got the hammock now i haven't like I've always wanted a hammock and I haven't gone in the hammock yet because I'm too freaked out that caterpillar's gonna drop on me while I'm in the hammock. Now, soon when they all turn into moths and they all fly away, then it'll be fine, I'll get in the hammock. But at the moment, I'm like freaking out about the caterpillars. They are a huge issue out here. So Google them, gypsy moth caterpillars, they're disgusting. But that has caused me some pain because I wanna be out in the garden and they're everywhere at the moment. So we need to tackle that. And the other thing that I will just say is bin day. So it's bin day tomorrow. Now out here, I have noticed that they're really, really good at collecting the rubbish. So in england like you've got your two bit you've got your bins you've got your recycle bin and you've got your normal waste bin and some people have got the food bins so out here we've got the food bin but then you don't have the like the council in barry don't give you like a wheelie bin so you get blue tubs to put your recycling in but you can have unlimited recycling so like in the uk you fill your wheelie bin up sorry and then you put something next to your wheelie bin and the bin men like a funny they might not take it here you can literally and i will take you outside and show you in a second you can literally cover your whole garden in recycling and they will clear it all it's amazing but then the um rubbish or they call it the garbage you put in black sacks and we had to buy our own like big wheelie bin to put them in and you are entitled this is the only thing that they will not take loads of you're entitled to two black big black bags now they only take your garbage or rubbish um every other week so they take the recycling every week and the rubbish the black rubbish every other week um i can't remember how they do it in england i didn't i thought it was the other way around but so every other week the garbage and every week is the food waste and i think at the moment every week they will take the garden waste away for free so you just put it in the big paper bags put that out the front and they will clear as much of that as you like as well so it's been really handy because obviously where we've been we've recently moved in and we've had uh, so many cardboard boxes and all of the polystyrene foam and the house has just been well the garage has just been full of cardboard we've had to get rid of it all and every week they've taken everything so it's been great so that is one plus what well, that is a thumbs up for canada is the bin men thanks bin men okay i've just gone outside now so i will show you like all of the rubbish that we've got down at the end of the drive there it is so you can see that there is quite a lot that they are going to come and take but they'll take it all which is great and then we'll go into caterpillar alley and i will show you what taylor managed to get the other day now turn away if you don't like gross things that is the collection of caterpillars just a little selection that we got off of the tree And then this is my lovely hammock that eventually I will get to go on to. But I'll show you the, um, see if I can find some caterpillars on the tree. There's one. Oh, look at him. 
with all of his red spots and his little face. But normally you would see loads of them, not just him on his own, there'd be swarms of them. But oh yeah, what a good job I did of the lawn earlier. There's my hard work. Apart from you can see that I didn't mow, move the sunbed to mow underneath it. Anyway, I don't think I've got any more left in me for today's vlog. I am absolutely knackered. Now, when I said to somebody out here that I worked with that I'm knackered, they were like, I don't understand, what's knackered mean? And I went, oh, it means like I'm cream crackered. They were like, uh, and I was like, I'm shattered. They were like, I don't know what shattered is. I don't know what knackered is. What are you saying to me? And I was like, I'm like, what do you guys say in Canada? Like, for when you're so, so, so tired. And they were like, oh, like extremely exhausted. Well, that like shattered or knackered. Canadians like that is a much easier way of saying things than I'm extremely exhausted so I am going to have a bath tonight and oh gone into the bathroom and my oh, with my new bath bomb so one of Taylor's friends mums Marcy makes bath bombs. So quite similar to, similar to Lush, but apparently her products are better because apparently there is something wrong with some of the chemicals or something that they use in Lush that people just don't think of. So I'm going to have a lovely bath bomb and finally enjoy my glass of wine, which I've been cradling for the last hour. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching my day off. I've actually had a fun day and hopefully we'll have more to come. Thanks for watching. If you want to continue watching, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.